Naira mutilation, Nigerian activist Aisha Yesufu blames Bobriski for pleading guilty. A popular Nigerian activist Aisha Yesufu has blamed popular crossdresser Idris Okuneye, known as Bobriski, for pleading guilty to the court of Naira mutilation. The news guru reports that Justice Abimbola Awoburu handed down a six-month sentence without the option of a fine to the crossdresser on Friday. The controversial celebrity has been in the custody of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, since the arrest last week. It would, it would be recalled that EFCC had arrested and prosecuted Bobriski for Naira mutilation. Bobriski had earlier on April 5th pleaded guilty to a four-court charge of Naira abuse brought against him by the anti-graft agency. Who advised him to plead guilty? Aisha queries in a write-up on X. How does spring of money equate to mutilating money? If it is and a crime, why is it selectively used? Yes, I would have. Worst case scenario, I would ask him to plead no contest. Anything else, or lawyer. This spring money is, is a mutilation. What is politicians throwing money at people? Mutilation and spring money, how are they the same? Did Bobriski pick up scissors, scissors and start shredding the Naira in front of EFCC? We have a jungle where anything goes because some people's morality is offended. If Bobriski crimes he has committed, if Bobriski has crimes he has committed, prosecute him on those and not use selective prosecution. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to turn on notifications so you can be notified when we upload daily content here on this channel. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on and they can give their own opinions on this. Now, let's see what other people have to say about this. A very stiff and hard judge bias judge. See, she just spoiled Mama Echo's show. Although Bob's life is not worth emulating, but at the same time, the case of EFCC is too cheap and shouldn't have warranted the sentencing. One day they say they want decent society and another day they talk from both sides of their mouth. This is not a lesson for others to learn. If it is, then why do politicians spray money during election? But there are videos attesting to that. Aisha Yesufu just proved her ignorance and pretends the truth she claims to always have stand for. This foolish lady will be making mouth. Why not just go and abuse money and see if you will not be arrested? PTOB will not be able to save you. Very simple. Go and spray the one you collected from LP under video and go to court to claim not guilty. Find somewhere to sit. You support even Satan just to show you exist. Try it and see whether you will not land in jail with your, with your body. At least make the younger generation rest for six months as, be, as he's been sentenced. Big Mama just spoke sense. Bob Brisky Abi Bob Danger has more important queries to answer. Not Naira fake case targeting Ibos and Common Man. Madam. Bobriski is probably not a hardened criminal like some of you who lies at will. Her video where he was throwing money to the floor, not the one, not the one, not two was evident. Yet you want her to plead not guilty. Probably if she had pleaded not guilty, it would have been both fine and jail term. I don't know why enforcement of our laws is a problem to some of you. Well, these people have all given their opinions on this. Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure to turn on notifications so you can be notified when we upload daily content here on this channel. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends 
so that they know what is going on. 